All right, I need to ask you guys, has that moon always been here in Glimmerbrook? Because that is so pretty. You just have shooting stars surrounding this like gorgeous moon as these magical auras spin around the floating islands. That is so pretty. Oh, I wonder if that got added in when they added the moon in with the, like the lunar cycles. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to bring- <gasps> I could bring a sim here to look at the stars. It would be so cool to look at the stars here. I also feel like if you were here, you absolutely should have your werewolves go ahead and transform. Uh, but our werewolf is not currently with us today, my friends, because we are back with the Crescent Bay Saga. And since we spent so much time with Anuga last time, time we're actually leaving her to go ahead and get some rest so she's catching up on her sleep now since she has indeed been a little bit ferocious today and has spent a lot of time chasing some of the local tourists uh, around oh hey and Stefan meanwhile is pretty exhausted from his his career as he's now studying to be a medical doctor however that doesn't mean that he can just come home and relax because because he is indeed a warlock and that means there is no rest for the wicked and he actually is here in Glimmerbrook to go ahead and keep up on his studies here as well. It's very important that he learns how to control his magic abilities and he is hoping that he can use his magic in order to go ahead and help the people that he serves in his career as a doctor as well. So he's here getting a little bit back into, oh, I never noticed these were little birds. <gasps> That's cute. <clears throat> but anyway, he is here getting back into his magic. I, he actually doesn't have any magic skill points yet. I didn't randomize the skill caster spell points because it's been a long time since I've been able to play with those and I never properly finished our North Star legacy. Um, so I actually have a lot to still learn about spell casting, but he is here to go ahead and pick up a book. Yay! And then low ranked uh, tome for low ranked spellcasters, a tome that contains the teachings of lower rank of low ranked spellcasters. All right, we'll go ahead and we will read some of that. And also, thank you guys for letting me know uh, that actually <laughs> the quote unquote werewolf skill books are actually those new books, a world without magic. No, they are those books we saw who were actually written about wolves it just doesn't say like werewolf exclusively it's just kind of like tucked in there like beyond big and bad rethinking harmful stereo werewolf stereotypes which i'm pretty sure anuga has in her inventory we can't look at her inventory right now but i'm pretty sure that's the one the librarian gave her <laughs> so that she could stop being such a jerk and like chasing all of the um chasing everybody around uh so let's see and setting like a bad example for what it means to be a werewolf i really think that the town's more docile wolf population is not so happy with how we're like how anuga has been chasing the tourist around all right and then let's see we want to find here we go dusk glow to moonrise is that going to be it no these ones are all the ones that are like romance but we want to find the ones that are actually published. And it's kind of fun now that I know what to look for. Uh, be e kind. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's kind of fun now that I know what to look for to know that the werewolf books are actually hidden among all of the other books that you can get. So I just need to kind of like embracing the moment and inspiring others. A collection of st short stories and anecdotes that will leave you feeling calm, collected, and crafty. Interesting. Um, famous spellcasters throughout history. All right, that's definitely something we should probably go ahead and snag. Fanged friends forever. As the lunar phase changes, so too does the life of a group of fanged friends. The real question is, will the friendship last forever? Okay, that could count maybe as a werewolf book. Um, but I want to go ahead. There's also herbalism. Uh, how I dumped your father. Oh my gosh. Let's see. And what other books do we have in here? Mastery of Skiing. It's 
on the one hand, I'm so happy to see so many books. On the other hand, I wish they were easier to sort. <laughs> uh, and what I really actually want to do, and I want to figure out some way if we can do it, is have a bookstore in my Sims worlds where you can go and get custom books, like custom skill books that have been written by the Sims. I actually want uh, Stefan to be able to write skill books. So I need to complete the Renaissance Sim aspiration with him so he can write skill books. But I wonder if you upload a custom book to the gallery in a bookshop, does it save and can someone else have that book? Because I would love to share books with you guys and to have your guys' books come and populate my Sims world. Uh, that seems especially fitting because I'm getting really into books again and starting up like booktube <laughs> on my my like series greenhouse vlog channel. I'm going to revamp it and start adding in some book stuff. So that'll be fun. Peter Barker's uh, First Moon. Hmm. I don't think that would actually count Peter Barker in space. They might count as werewolf books. Let's see, private journals. I feel like Stefan would have a journal and I feel like he'd try to give his sister one, but she would probably just like throw it out. Um, but I feel like Stefan would actually have a journal. All right, research and debate. I know we've already dug through these, but I'm digging through them again because <laughs> I'm pretty sure Let's see, 50 shades on my windows. Oh my gosh. Let's see, the Chronicles of uh, Radik? No. The Frequently Ending Story? Oh, it's so funny to see so many references to some good books in here. Uh, the Night the Moon Forgot to Shine. So let's go ahead and grab that one. Hmm. That one sounds that one sounds like something that maybe Vima would have picked up. And just in case it actually happens to be the werewolf who came in from the cold. Okay. <laughs> About one lone werewolf trying to find answers. The wolf next door. All right. Oh my gosh. And that one's actually a romance. Um I don't think that Vima likes werewolves at all. I think she's very biased to only like witches and she considers the werewolves to be like whatever but we're gonna say that um anuga actually found the wolf next door when she was at the library tickle your own ivories university homework untamed treacheries of the heart let's see video gaming for noobs wands of desire oh my word <laughs> there's a lot of stuff i could see vima um because she is very much into romance having collected all right so and then at home, those books should now be waiting for us at home. All right, there we go. Sorry for like digging through all the books, except I guess te technically that was like book shopping with our Sims, which is quite fun. <laughs> but let's go ahead and Stefan is actually going to start getting to work studying diligently. Uh, I think there's a better place to study diligently. That's a little more thematic, right? Right? What do you mean there's no like, okay, we're going to correct this friends. Like this is a magic place. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, I could I could go ahead and correct this, but we'll get around to fixing this later. And meanwhile, what are you doing over here, Miss Flirt? Oh. Carson, Trying to exchange right? phone numbers with somebody, huh? Brisham. Let's see. She just wants to chat, tell a dirty joke to someone, observe the skies, admire her possessions. Uh, but meanwhile, since we are here, and it is the end of a long work day, Vima definitely wants to go ahead and spend a little bit of money. I don't think she'd put up with this guy being kind of rude to her. Yeah, he seems to be yelling about things. So let's go ahead. Rude introduction. And then we'll move on. We'll keep our eyes out for anything shiny. Uh, and speaking of anything shiny, let's actually have Vima go ahead and spend some time doing that shopping. So maybe some potion ingredients. Oh, I could see Vima getting into making potions or herbalism. That guy needs to chill. Let's see. Apples, cherries, a death flower. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> if we had the money for it, I have never seen a death flower in The Sims 4 actually, because it's always like beyond my abilities to snag. Um, potion of perk purging. Consuming this potion will reset all of your spellcaster perks. Exotic goldfish, apple, cherries. All right, nothing that Vima would be interested in right now, but maybe we can go ahead and haggle over at the brooms and crystals, and then haggle over the wands, tomes, and wands, wands, tomes, and familiars. And we'll see if there's anything good we could snag. And otherwise, I think Stefan is actually like zipping through this book. He wants to sit in a skill class, mentor someone in writing. Ooh. That's interesting. Meanwhile, Vima's getting denied for being able to have low prices. I would try a flirty introduction, but these ghosts seem to not care at all. Ooh, a diamond. Okay, I actually think Vima likes collecting gemstones. I'm still figuring out their characters, as mentioned uh, before. Like, other than their backstory, I love being able to evolve our Sims characters as we just pop in. But seeing shiny things makes me think that Vima absolutely adores being able to buy shiny things, and she would love to have quite the collection of shiny things. So I think we're going to snag uh, one of each, because she would love to have a full collection, no matter how expensive it was. Like, come on, she's, she's Vima. And it would be her expectation that Stefan would be able to make this human thing of money just pop up enough that she should be able to play however she wants. So we'll collect those because I know that she'd really love them. Um, oh man, and send for refinement. So I wonder what it means to have these refined. Send a jeweler for refinement. I kind of want to do that because I would love just to have a bunch of gemstones. That totally would be her. Oh, who's this? Oh, hello. Vima is a bit of a flirt, and anybody who looks like they might be a powerful witch, I could see her potentially flirting with. And then, no. Some of those pesky local werewolves think they can call us? I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Meanwhile, we have some familiars. I wonder if she should have a familiar. Oh, I wonder if, like, we should get a familiar for Stefan. Tom of Alluring Aura teaches the reader a potion to make those around the drinker more receptive to romantic conversation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she totally would pick that up. She absolutely, totally, and completely would pick that up. Uh, and I think we need to go ahead. We're going to get this ancient wood wand as well with the last of our money because we do need to give Stefan a proper wand. So let's drag that into his inventory. And then uh, I think I'm going to set Vima free. Uh, pass. Where'd that, where'd that more capable spellcaster wander off to? She's over here now? Let's see. Oh, she's a teenager. Gosh darn it. It's so hard to tell with the Sims. And then, oh, free love in the community. Okay, apparently there's free love going on in the Glimmerbrook community. That's fine. Totally fits Vima. And then... Let's wiggle over here. It is getting kind of late. Oh, nice. Did we just level up? You guys, I think we just caught him having ranked up. Yay. We need to get talent points, though. Perks contain a variety of ways to... Uh, uh, perks contain a variety of helpful ways to increase magic prowess. It's been so long since I've looked at these, I've completely forgotten. As one gains more experience and titles, they also gain more talent points. Invest wisely. Your spellcaster rank determines what perks are available. Perch atta perks attached with a line must be purchased from in order from bottom to top. Got it. So I want either Blender Arm, which increases potion, Knowledge is Magic, Sim reads and does computer research at a faster rate. These interactions also provide magical experience over time. Okay, that's completely perfect for Stefan. Then we also have Discharge. We have Incredible Forger, and we have Experimenter. Huh. No, he, he would definitely need Knowledge is Magic, I think. But how do we... How does one gain talent points? We're going to have to figure that out. But for now, I'm happy that he's at least studied his, like, magic tome. Maybe we need to go ahead and, like, practice with the wand. It's been so long since I've done this. Let's see... Always use wands. And we'll set that as his preferred wand. And then I wonder... 
magic. Oh, here we go. Practice magic. Practice mischief magic. Uh, practical magic would totally be his thing. Fine. Okay. I wonder if talking to... We need to have him talk to, like, the local teachers. So let's also do a respectful introduction. I wish that I had... I don't have my Glimmerbrook world in their world properly updated, but one day I am going to, like, make over Glimmerbrook with Toolmod and make it over with <laughs> all of the townies, and we're going to make it look really beautiful. Oh, hey, these guys are having a duel. That's so cool. All right. Meanwhile, for now, we're going to talk to the Sage of Untamed Magic. Um, ask for... Ask to teach maybe untamed magic and let's see if he's gonna have a good lesson for us since we greeted him politely maybe his lesson will be in how to de-stinkify ourselves cooking with moats add a little kick to your boring weekday recipes magical moats may not be the healthiest or most edible ingredient Oh my gosh, I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. Let's get to know each other first, then I'll decide if you're worthy. All right, I actually like this. I like that St Stefan has to come in here and he has to prove himself. Uh, should we practice acting together? Let's try that just as a way where like everyone's kind of acting with one another, right? So let Stefan kind of put on a performance is what I get the feeling he's being asked. He doesn't really like doing that though. His acting is apparently level two. <laughs> but I like the idea that the, the Sage of Untamed Magic would demand, like, a performance from Stefan of some kind. Like, does he know the right things to say? The right rights to really impress? And meanwhile, Vima? She's busy playing a game, but we'll have Vima come over as well. Oh, who's this? Uh, just nobody to really inspire Vima, I think. And nobody to really make her go like, hmm, yes. Well, I don't know. Lula here seems like she might be just into a casual good time. All right. Did that work? Did we gain, did we gain a little relationship with Morgan? All right. He's just like looking at everything friendly. Uh, announce engagement. Oh, here, we'll announce his engagement because we are indeed engaged to marry the like great, 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 great niece of the famous, one of the most famous fairy godmothers. So maybe we're using a little of our political clout here in the magic realm. Because I really want to be able to, I really, really want to be able to go ahead and managed to snag a little bit more maybe about ask about hobbies and skills i want to be able to snag a little bit more of the magic before we leave today it is getting kind of late though all right we've learned morgan likes fitness oh and you know what i think stefan would be a little embarrassed that he's kind of stinky and he's actually feeling a little gloomy out of the blue. So is there a room we can go in that he could just kind of like tidy up really quickly? Oh, look at the size of this potion. Oh, I have the cauldron even. It's been a while since I've messed with the cauldrons. Oh, there's a lot of cauldrons here. Um, There's even a cauldron down here, which is pretty exciting. And we could come and we could meet with another one of the mages, but I don't think he would really want to work with the Mage of Mischief Man Magic. And it looks like there's actually a bar down here. Why is there always a bar? <laughs> oh, all right. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's anywhere to freshen up. So let's go ahead and maybe say something briefly. And I think we might have Stefan here. Maybe Stargaze might be too. Let's brighten day to be polite. And then let's see. <laughs> compliment his outfit because we've got to do what we can to try to buddy up to him so that we can get moving on being able to learn some new things maybe discuss favorite authors since we just read a tome too oh hey and it's the sage of practical magic so maybe we can learn from him too so let's do a respectful introduction to him as well that's fine random lady just take a nap next to us all right, so we're introducing ourselves to the sages. This is this has to be good progress, right? 
And then let's try asking for the magic again. But then I think we'll let Stefan go home. Meanwhile, how is our girl? Just looking around. I don't think she's that impressed. I think Vima is more the type to be like, oh, oh please. I was raised here. And I think she'd be ready to go. And she's probably more interested, if she was going to get interested, in, say, human celebrities more than anything else. Oh, can I catch that moat? Oh, are there any moats or other things I can collect? Hmm. There is a little gemstone over here. I might let her go collect that because I think... Any shiny gems on the ground she sees, she would absolutely chase after. Oh, he's actually teaching us. Yes. Oh, that's such a relief. So we are learning something. Nice. We discovered how to set things on fire. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Instantly incinerate your target with the power of fire. Well... You know, that's probably something pretty important to know, and I feel like Untamed Magic would be something Stefan wants to continue studying so he could learn something like Decursify, so he could remove curses. Um, and then I feel like he would really want to know Practical Magic for cleaning, repairing, um, being able to go ahead and just like make everybody healthy. And I actually think he'd want to get into potion making as well because it would be really important for him to be able to go ahead and provide potions to his patients to help them feel a lot better. So maybe we'll be able to like buddy up with everyone. Let's compliment. Let's see, maybe announce engagement to let everybody know like, yes, we have fit into the political life of Glimmerbrook because we have indeed married, we're going to marry Vima Merriweather, descendant of one of the most famous of the fairy godmothers out there. Stephen, Stefan can't wait to tell everyone about his engagement. It's his favorite topic of conversation just because he can't keep it inside anymore. Now on to the wedding planning. Well, I'm going to leave that in Vima's court. No doubt she wants it to be, like, super fancy. And then let's brighten his day. Stefan is getting, like, a great... So we learned this guy likes the color yellow. We'll compliment his outfit. Vima dug up a capsule. I think she'd absolutely be like, I'm ready to go home now. I am hungry. So we'll probably send these guys home in just a second. And she found Chef Gino. I think she'd immediately chuck it off the cliff. <laughs> like I could care less. <laughs> All right, so now that we're done with these guys. Oh, actually, hmm, I saw in here. I think Viva might say hello to him. She she doesn't exactly have very uh well, let's ask to teach potion recipe maybe. She she's not very discerning and she's kind of bored. So we're gonna come over. And there's a lot of people around here and they kinda know who she is, so I think she'll just do a polite introduction. But let's see if we can get ourselves a potion recipe. Please, please. Ah, oh, okay, no potion recipe. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's actually head back home. And we're going to return. Oh my gosh, we have to return all... Okay, wait. Can we make this easier? Can I just... Ha-ha! <laughs> Yay! All right, well, let's go see what Anuga was doing. And then let's bring her, her future sister-in-law. Oh, are you back on her computer again? Oh my gosh, Anuga! Oh, that cracks me up. Oh, and she's wide awake. Yes, and she's made a mess of the kitchen. That seems completely and totally fitting for her. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring Stefan and Vima back home. And upon hearing that they have returned, we're going to send our girl coming in here to go ahead and take a wild shower. Oh my gosh, because she's feeling pretty wild. All right. Meanwhile, these two have gone ahead and returned from their day in Glimmerbrook. I wonder, can we read this potion book? Study Magical Tome. We can. I wonder if you can learn to make the potions without being magical. And then... Looks like Vima's getting something to eat. And a peanut butter and jelly for our, our boy, Stefan. 
who's also feeling really exhausted because he's burning the candle, the magic candle, at both ends, doing his best to go ahead and try to like become a good doctor and also figure out a way that he can actually go ahead and be a good warlock too. And meanwhile, Vima just stole his food that he was trying to make earlier. <laughs> oh, hang in there, fam. Oh my gosh. And then meanwhile, Anuka is ready to go. Look at her shaking it all off. I love the fact that she's just a slob and just making a complete mess everywhere. But all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Oh, maybe we're going to get into a little bit of a tiff here. Oh my gosh. She does want to start an argument because she's just like... Oh, man. Oh, she does want to start an argument because she's been, she's been having like a day. Oh, Supernatural Smackdown. What happens if we do that? Argue. Maybe argue about outlook on life. Because Stefan might be like, so how's your day been? Like, did you, did you apply for any of the, the GED programs? And I have a feeling that she would just That's respond to that really so negatively. Funny. Despite his best efforts. Oh, hang in there, fam. Alright, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I know it was kind of a quiet day, but I just needed to dip my toes back into the magic of Glimmerbrook again and see how things were going. And we have learned a few things about everybody, like the fact that Vima is obsessed with the crystals, and that Stefan is really struggling to take care of his own needs, let alone put up with when his sister decides that she's going to be in a bad mood. Oh. And meanwhile, Vima comes in to see what the fighting's about, but just wants to kind of criticize... Stefan for being stinky. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> All right. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our little drama family. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.